right guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you came from the five inch DPF exhaust back video, I appreciate y'all watching or vice versa. If you haven't seen that one, I'll put the link in the description to that one. So go ahead and watch that one. But we are going to do a full install and review on the Banks Ram Air intake. So we are going to be replacing from here all the way to here, all banks, their filter, their piping, their housing. Um, and just to give you a little bit of back on exactly what all this is. So you're gonna have your upper intake here. You're gonna have a lower intake here. That's gonna be all of your EGR. This is all of your intercooler piping with your intercooler there. Um, these do have an air to water intercooler. It's not like a regular one that's gonna be in front of the radiator. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing just intake. Uh, this plugs straight into the lower intake and which feeds your turbo so hopefully we'll get a little more whistle out of it but we shall see we'll start tearing this thing down and we'll do a full install all right so this intake should not take long we are probably five minutes into this install um, but as far as your piping all it is is going to be some hose clamps here and here uh, and then you'll pull your piping off and we're going to start on pulling the actual housing for the filter off but one cool thing is is that you can actually see that turbo in there you can see it way back in there uh, that is the turbo on the 22s now I'm not 100% sure which ones are the same possibly 20 through 22 or 21 22 not sure um, but this portion here does not have any sensors on it so you can just take your hose clamps off pull it out uh, you will have one sensor here to unplug and then your few clips here um, and then this will come out. We'll show you how that comes out and then we're gonna pull the whole box out Okay, so we do have part of the housing off like I said You just take those snaps off and you are going to slide in down there Into these four holes there, uh, but as you can see this stock air box is already dirty and this pre-filter for the truck only having 600 miles on it does have a little debris on it um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the rest of this air box out and we will start on the install of the Banks Ram Air. Okay, so your Ram Air that comes towards the front is going to be right here. So that's gonna to have to be removed. Um, and then you are going to have a seven millimeter bolt, which is actually this bolt in the magnet here, that's gonna go right here in this hole. Um, so that's gonna be the only bolt that is going to hold this housing in there. The rest is just snaps, you're gonna have one here on the side a little rubber snap there um, and then you're going to have this one so then after that you just give it some force and you just pull it up it's really not hard but this one we popped it out of place uh, so then you'll maneuver it out and the whole intake will be out so we'll go ahead and start installing the banks so one thing that i did want to mention about that stock intake and the banks is going to have it as well but your stock intake is in fact a ram air because your box is open in the front and it's going to slide over here but that inlet there is actually getting fed from this grating here in the grill as you can see back there you see a little bit of daylight that's where it's going so that's probably why the filter was a little dirty um but this is a true ram air so the 22 six seven liter power strokes are equipped with a true ram air from ford okay so for the banks install you are going to have two 13 millimeter bolts that are going to be holding this bracket on right here into these two holes here uh, so that bracket does have to come out and the banks box actually does have holes for that um, so you're going to have two holes there and that's actually going to bolt to the fender just wanted to make sure that was clear though you will not have enough room in this fender well with this stock bracket in there for that banks box so it does have to come out okay so this is going to be your banks ram air tubing here or piping rather but your mass airflow is going to go in there and it comes out of the factory box uh, one thing to mention though is that on the banks they do supply you with two screws to hold in your mass airflow so you're not going to use the stock ones um, but they pretty much just bolt right up um, and then you're going to have a plug for your filter minder uh, this particular truck did not have one uh, so there was no need to pull it out of anything but it came banks did supply us with this plug so you just pretty much plug this hole off here uh, but now we're going to start with 
putting the box in doing the whole installation on there as you can see it's still out uh, you do have a whole lot of room and you can access a lot of stuff with this piping out actually so if you ever were to change the belt in this truck or anything you do have quite a bit of room so let's jump into it okay so the box is installed um, and it is a pretty tight fit so when you're pressing it in here make sure that you are actually creating a seal at your ram air um, and you're going to have two 10 millimeter bolts here so keep in mind you did take 13 millimeter bolts out but the 10 mils are going to go back in assuming that's to accommodate for the very tight fit of this box because you have a small space here to fit a socket and an extension so like I said, it's a real tight fit. Just make sure you're not ripping any wires out as there are a lot of sensors and stuff that are running through here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go with all of the piping and stuff. We do have the filter made up already. Um, and this filter, one thing I would like to say about this is it is big. This filter is huge. I don't have the biggest hand in the world, but that is my hand on this filter. Um, and it is fairly large and it, it looks good. So like I said, the box is installed. We're going to go ahead and start installing all the piping and everything and we'll show you how it looks all right so we do have all of the piping and the filter installed like i said this filter is big it's pretty deep it sits real deep into this box um, but the easiest way to get all of this into the truck is going to be to put the filter onto your hard piping and onto your flex hose so that way you can put it all in in one shebang it's pretty much the easiest way to do it um, and then don't forget to plug in your mass airflow you will have check engine light running issues but in my opinion this banks does look good we're going to go ahead and throw the uh, cap on it and once we get that on there everything will be good and we'll all right so we have finished completely putting this banks ram air into the truck um, and it does look good so the whole idea behind these banks ram airs is that they have less loss within all of your piping and your box and everything so that way the truck is allowed to make more horsepower uh whether it's true or not don't know we're not going to do any dyno testing or anything like that we can just go off of what banks advertises um but the install was pretty simple wasn't very hard and it actually cleaned up the engine bay really nice uh i think it looks a whole lot better than the stock box and the stock piping and all of that so We'll do a startup and we'll do a little couple revs and we'll see how it sounds, see if it changed the tone of the truck any, because sometimes they will. Um, but we'll go from there. So we are going to end the video here, but the idea between the two mods between the five inch DPF and the Ram Air from Banks is to get not only EGTs down on regens, but to get your regen time down as well. Uh, it just makes everything more efficient, gives the truck a little more horsepower, and it does not look the same as, you know, all the other stock vehicles that are out there. Uh, so if you haven't seen the video on the five inch DPF exhaust, go check it out. I will put the link in the description, but once again, here is the truck. It does have the five inch DPF exhaust back. It is a 22 platinum trimmer. Um, and it now has a Ram Air Banks intake in it as well. The next installation video that we do is going to be a dual steering stabilizer from PMF with King shocks. Um, so I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. You got any questions, let's go ahead and ask. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for some more stuff.